Hey everyone, Karma Lichty with Onward Studios. In this video, I want to talk about how to crop and rotate an image inside Photoshop. I have this image of the Stanley Hotel in Estes Park, Colorado. We're going to crop and rotate this image at the same time. I'm going to grab my crop tool. I'm using Photoshop CS6. The crop tool had significant updates to it in CS6. I'm going to show you how to do it in CS6 and I'll also show you how to do it in previous versions as well. So I've selected my crop tool. I'm going to click and drag to create my cropped area. Now it's not exact because I'm going to change this after the fact. As soon as I release my mouse, it grays out the area I did not select and it keeps in there the area that I'm going to choose to, to keep. So I'm going to grab one of these handles and pull it up a bit since I want to have all of that. And before I go ahead and accept, accept this crop, I want to do one setting, and this is available in CS6. There is a straighten, in, straighten option up here in the control panel for the, for the crop tool. I'm going to click on that. After I click on that, it wants us to drag a crosshair. It should be a straight line. So I'm going to use the bottom of this, this little fence area, if you will, this brick fence and just click and drag through there to say this is what should be leveled out. So just rotate it slightly like so. So it adjusted that to make the line that I drew to be to be straight across in the image. So now that I've set that, I'm going to press press enter to accept it. Or you can also click on this check mark to, to the right of the control panel and it will get rid of everything else. So there's our cropped and our rotated image. Now it still has the crop mark markings here, so you can continue cropping if you desire, or I'm just going to go back to my move tool, which is the top tool, to accept that. So that's how you use the crop tool in CS6. I'm going to go to I'm going to go back to the original image by doing a file revert and show you how to do it without that straighten setting that's not available in previous versions of Photoshop. So I'm going to grab my crop tool, click and drag to select the area that I want to keep, and it will gray out everything else. Now I can also rotate this manually. I'm going to bring in my crop on the right side just a bit so I don't go off the edge here when I rotate it. When my cursor is outside the cropped area, I get the double double curved, double pointed curved cursor. I'm just going to click and drag. It's going to rotate my crop just slightly to, to however I'm dragging my mouse. So I'm going to do the same type of crop or rotation that we did earlier, like so. So this way it's much more manual and you're guessing a lot more versus having Photoshop do it for you. So that rotated a bit. You notice here at the top how the on the right side the image came down. So I've rotated it slightly. Once I have that where I want, I'm going to, again, either click on this check mark or click or hit enter to accept that. And there's our cropped and rotated image. Now you could do this, both of these steps separately, but if you're cropping it, it's also easy to rotate it at the same time. All right, so that wraps up our discussion on rotating and cropping.